you look at the historical records, it, uh, Maiti insurgency is older than the cookie, uh, cookie uh, uh, the recent phenomena of the violence between cookies and Maiti is one. And secondly, the, the Maiti insurgents were inspired by the Bengali communists, the Prapek and other uh, outfits. I don't really need to go into that. In fact, Maiti insurgency is older. Prepack, if I correct uh, myself, P R E, P A K. I I totally get your point. Can, can I come in? Can it, I come in? Ka, Ms. Ao, you wanted to come I, in, I come, Ms. Ao. Clarify on uh, adjust, adjust, You know, uh, you can come in, Ms. Ao. You can come in. You know, but you know, today I really want. Okay, you, you okay, you come in, Ms. Ao. You make your point. Make your point. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Adadzi. Um, I would honestly uh, clarify because. Uh, a, Cookies never fight for independence. This should be made very clear. And you please look at history. We fight against the British. Major Tool said that, not Yashwadan Azadji. Major, major, it was Major Tool, second, not Yashwadan Azadji. The second thing, we fight, we fight with Subhas and the Bros under the Indian National Army. That was for India's independence. Even now, there's no instance where the cookies demand for independence. Before Nobody is questioning that. Nobody is questioning that. Yeah. My main, my main point, sir, is the narco money, the drug money, and where and the channels from where it was being originated. I will not name. I am sure the people are smart enough to know what whom I am trying to point out. No, no. But it, it was mainly the poppy cultivation from the hills, which was then resulting in. The transfer of weapons from across the border. Sir, sir, trust me. Sir, I'll tell you, see, this is the issue. That at least. I, I am from the ground and you. I know much better. I know much better from any Okay, outside. Really, Major, first you finish your sir. point, then Mr. Misao can uh, get into it. Yes. Uh, you finish your point, and let Misao uh, respond. My reason is why have they not gone into depth in rectifying, in uh, going after the narco trade in, and the narco arms which are coming in? The main reason which is giving rise to violence. I mean, if you look at the photographs, I think even in Kashmir, this amount of weapon cache will not be there as it is in Manipur today, in the Northeast. It is a very alarming situation. Then a new tactics is started, that you go in the form of a group which is unarmed, and you take the whole state to ransom by blocking the main lifeline of the highways, and then just having it your way. So I feel that the uh, you know it's just fueling more and more uh, problems. It's not resolving anything. And the worst part is none of the sides are bothered on the humanitarian aspects. But major too, well, you know, that that is something which we have which we have known already. But what has happened in the valley is that the Mera Pibis want the release of these miscreants. That is the larger what? issues. They are unarmed, what? and still there was what? a there was an attempt. There was an attempt to the free them from a police station. Who is the one? Who is the one fueling these ladies for this movement? Why are they not being arrested and taken to the? Why are they not being? That is not. That is not for me to answer. Now nah? that is for the state government to answer. That is for the state government to answer. And the second thing is exactly my stress is that. And the second the thing government? is, narco terrorism had to be taken care of by the state government. If they are narco terrorists, arrest them. Although, how can we say that the entire community is responsible for narco terrorism? If narco terrorism is there, then the state police, state uh, army, anyone should take action. You know, if we stereotype a community in context of a practice, then it fuels a lot of problem. And I think that is also at the heart of the issue, Major Tu. Uh, Misao. Uh, you know, that's just besides the point, narco terrorism other thing. But my point is, when people from civil society disrupt the civic life, you know, civil society, people are supposed to create civilness in the civil life. What has happened in Imphal is unprecedented. People are being paid for it. Everything is free. You really think somebody wants to be in Hungary throughout the day? You really think somebody wants to be on the road in that heat? They don't have families. They don't have kids for them to. Okay, uh, Misao, do you think it's organized? It's all organized. It's what has happened organized. in Manipur? Okay, okay. Let let Mr. Uh, let Mr. Misao uh, answer. Misao, is it organized? Um, it, it, uh, Sorry, I I was saying that it should be a summer thing. Uh, I was uh, responding to him. Now, uh, when you the question like is it organized? I think that's a, a very good question, which uh, which has to be 
uh, substantiate it with uh, the e chain of events. Now, uh, I, I, in the last talk show, I have already said it is a well orchestrated, well engineered attack on the particular community. Uh, because uh, if you look at the chain, when when the uh, gun license uh, from the cookie community were asked to be submitted, uh, and when when the FC uh, when the Armed Forces Special Power Act in entire Valley was withdrawn, and when the houses, the quarters were marked. And when the FCI go down in Pritankur was uh, the, the food staff were transported without uh, the knowledge of the community. Uh, and when the arms, uh, large cases of arms were discovered after the conflict in Pritankur, uh, because uh, they, they, that's how we said it is well organized. At the same time, uh, I would also come to the point saying that it is well organized because uh, the Mera Pibis, as I have already said, is such a very credible women organization for the moral, moral policing at the same time the social and moral justice it's it's highly regarded now i i cannot understand why this made up by become a tools such a tools in the hands of some uh, uh, miscreant just to fulfill their vested interest now the army has already reported that the the uh, the, the operation are obstructed the, re the reinforcement for peace break Keeping was also obstructed by women folk. Uh, now today, uh, unfortunately, uh, it is it is uh, I mean it is a utter shock to everyone that when the five miscreants were arrested with sophisticated weapons, and this was not by the Assam Rifle, this was by the state state police. And how come this made up by this rather than uh, supporting the action of the state force, uh, which I believe is part of. Uh, uh, normalizing the situation uh, rather than supporting it, they are opposing it, and then they are also crying for the release of these people who, who are caught with yes, uh, this. Sir, uh, sir, I'd like to uh, intervene uh, here. Is it's become more of a kangaroo court that if I have 200 unarmed women uh, surrounding a police station and saying, "Okay, get the people out who have got the illegal arms," and then the police station, what it does, it releases those people out. You know, it, it's going to have repercussions. It's 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 for the ineffectiveness. Okay, let and me okay point again. Let me get issue. let me get this. Let me get Mr. Azad there, sir. Mr. Azad, what what explains such such crumbling of the administrative structure in the initial phase where people were able to loot arms? One. Secondly, the recovery has not taken place at the rate. If you contrast it with the way they looted the heavy machine guns. Or the heavy HMGs or heavy guns, and the third thing is what what explains such mobilization of women as the front of uh, as a front of disturbing normal movement of security forces. Because if you look at all the pictures, instead of men, you'll find women at the front. If you just do the photo analysis, you'll find women at the front. Katke, you'll appreciate that this is an old organization, a civil society uh, organization, and as someone rightly pointed out, and I had also mentioned, that even uh, from the army, they had released uh, the, the, the capture. Speak uh, off. Uh, yes. So, uh, you know, this is something which is, uh, as you rightly said, it has, it has accorded to itself tremendous powers, and everywhere it has been playing uh, havoc. And that's why this is the first time, I think, that the, uh, that the police stood its ground and put them up before the magistrate. So this is also true that in the uh, where you have mentioned that when a state is overawed, then there is nothing left because the looting of arms. And mind you, I had also suggested on your platform only that the cases should be registered immediately against those because the names were known, right? The names were known. But because the police stations are also divided in a manner, uh, you know, the, the, the actions were not taken. In a mighty dominated group, it, it becomes a mighty police station. In a cookie dominated group, it becomes a cookie police station. Therefore, irrespective of what it is, it is something which cannot be allowed in a civil state where, you know, a, a so-called civil society groups uh, starts overawing the state government. I mean, and, and so I think there has to be a way to break it. And if not, if it doesn't break, because in 48 hours, 
you cannot paralyze the whole state you have to break it somehow even by force a beginning has already been made and it is hoped that this will uh, continue okay uh, there is a question which has been, uh, mr bisa i know you don't represent the entire cook group but you know we we have this practice of taking up questions from the viewers you know one question uh, one person has asked me that you know i should put it to my panelists it's saying that the similar arrests have not taken place in chura chandpur people with the weapons are out but similar action has not been taken place in chura chandpur mr misau then i'll go to mr nandu kumar one question has come to me Uh, are you are you asking me i'm asking you then i'll go to mr nand kumar a person has asked me uh, on on our platform because we get the questions and i lead the question to you and the question is that the similar action has not been taken place has not taken place in chura charpo mr kartike why don't you come down to manipur and see by yourself for a month you won't need interview these interview you know people have the way of saying but the problem the issue is they're saying that similar actions have not been taken place in, have not been taken uh, done in chura chandpur your response um yeah kadi kadi uh, manipur is not only chura chandpur i think this should be made very clear to the one who asked this, that question uh, manipur is chura chandpur is just one district of uh, manipur state now uh, when he asked such question i would uh, refute by saying that Uh, every now and then, operations are taken up in the hill range, and then there is always a report of uh, like uh, arms being captured by the uh, Assam Rifle and the security forces. I don't know uh, from where. I think he has such silo uh, information and understanding of the ground realities. So there are lots of instances where the uh, security forces, uh, central security forces. Uh, done that combing operation and capture those guns similar to that, but we never, we never. I mean, when I'm saying we, the Kuki community never question the role of the Indian Army. We never protest because we we strongly believe in the integrity of this, uh, like the Army and the Assam Rifle, because uh, uh, they always act without fear or fear. That's what we believe in. That's why we never okay. question, unlike uh, the believers. I'm, I'm putting up certain questions. You know, you know, these are tough questions. People are asked. People have put it here. I'm asking you, and this is for Mr. Nandu Kumar. Mr. Nandu Kumar, uh, one Mr. Mr. Dhuiram says, you know, you have been discussing. You have been discussing about this arm uh, looting, but the maximum arm looting took place in Imphal. Yeah, uh, I'll reply to this. Uh, I agree. Maximum uh, looted must have been in uh, Imphal, and there is no doubt about it. Uh, but uh, that's not the justification for that. But I would I would like to uh, reply to Mr. Hazar. Uh, he said Kuki never fight for independence. It is absolutely wrong. Uh, recently, about two months back, when the crisis started, the Kuki community has written to United Nations asking for or helping in forming a separate nation, and also to the Prime Minister of Israel. And also, it is Mr. S. S. Hauke, one of the Sioux group, a Sioux militant group. He has written in his book to form a Jalingam or Cookie Land. And the same thing has been uh, mentioned by Mr. Paulino Hauke, who is a Myanmar citizen and the one of the JRS uh, chief. So this has been uh, very elaborately known to most of the people, and they have been planning. And uh, their aim is to use the facilities given in the Indian Constitution and uh, slowly move out. To get an independent Jalingam, so I have this point. And secondly, the arrest of the uh, this thing, Mera Ban by called by the Mera Pabi, has been uh, seen uh, in a different perspective. In uh, media, main media here in uh, rest of the Manipur, say it is seen that mysteries have been arrested. But in Manipur, the arrest is the village volunteers. When village volunteers are arrested. So they are asking to release for village volunteer. So I don't know which one is correct. The narrative set by the international media is that armed students are captured and the Merapavis are demanding for release of them. So are you saying? Or are you saying the that local the local? News, are you saying that the local narrative is that they are not commoners? They are village defense. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Exactly. So village defense volunteers have been arrested. That's why they are asking for the release of those innocent village volunteers. So this need an investigation. I don't know whether which is correct. Uh, this is one clarification. And uh, one more aspect I would like to say: uh, the Merapavis and the Maitei communities are asking equality before the law. That is under Article 14 of Indian Constitution. 
while the crackdown in uh, mighty insurgency groups though they must be cracked down because they are illegal and uh, 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 the call illegal under by mha uh, under uap in 1967 however the kukishu groups are not called uh, this thing uh, illegal or uh, banned by the government of india and government of manipur by suspending operation against them so operation can never happen until unless these agreements are cancelled so how can you expect that when you have a suspended operation against two militant groups so that equality is asking by the people of the manipur equality in the eyes of law so that's not be given uh, that uh, legal uh, extra uh, impunity or immunity rather immunity to product, to commit any mistake or to carry any arms under the uh, 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 bypassing the laws laid down by the government of india